fantasypoints.com talking about the 11 hole in fantasy drafts season long drafts here in 2024 recording this on august 9th full disclosure here before the bulk of the first week of the preseason plays out all the content is over at fantasypoints.com my draft plan article maps out the manifesto uh, my plan of attack which is tweaked every year and of course all my player targets i narrowed it down to 50 um very very uh a lot of discretion went into that whittling down from like 215 players uh, which is the number of players that go off in a typical draft uh whittled that down to 50 so we're under 25 percent there so it's the best of the best in terms of fantasy picks check it out fantasypoints.com use the promo code score more to save 10 percent at checkout what what why are you shaking your head you're welcome We are talking about the 11th pick and we are doing the video. It's kind of in conjunction with the release of my draft plan article because I've been a mock drafting fool. I have uh, gone in using the sleeper draft mock draft tool, which is a very good tool. I like their ADP. I think it's pretty tight uh, tool works very well. I have been going in and trial and error. Basically, um, I don't know the answer going in necessarily. Uh, but I go in there for every draft slot and I draft, I don't know, six to eight teams. Usually it doesn't take much longer than that. Maybe even three or four before I see, okay, this is the way the, the ADP is lining up. And I will say for this 11th pick, if you've been watching any of the other videos, I know it's a little boring, but Hey, when it's your draft plan, it's your draft plan. You want to get the most value. Jordan love is my quarterback on, I think every team. Well, I did find a pocket here out of the 11 hole where there was another quarterback who was on my list. I've really narrowed it down this year. Again, uh, there's only like two guys that I'm talking about as being opt or my picks. One of them love being like optimal value. The other player we'll get to in a moment. Uh, that's basically like I'll buy at the ADP. Uh, although the ADP is, I think, somewhat reasonable for considering the upside of this player. So we'll get into that. Hopefully the draft board goes the way it did uh, a day or two ago for me when I wrapped up the article uh, because I did draft a pretty darn good team here from 11. Now, I will say in this spot toward the end of round one, I do think balance is a big thing this year i think you really want to strive for it i wasn't really saying that last year last year i was like get in the wide receiver business go 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 bye 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 uh not 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 saying that either this year this year it's a little more normal uh things have kind of evened out a little bit the running backs are getting a little bit more love they are falling as well but we just have a lot of talent throughout the board uh through I don't know, the eighth or ninth round, it's really good. Maybe even the 10th round. It's really, really good. So I think the key is to just find the right pockets to tr do your drafting, like find the value basically. And which is typically the case, I do believe it comes at quarterback and a tight end. Now running back, it certainly could come. That's hard to predict, I think. Uh, a lot of that, in terms of running back is injuries guy gets hurt another guy steps up all of a sudden he balls out with the opportunity that's that's hard to predict uh, we can i think do better at, at drafting lower end players at tight end and quarterback so uh that is what i'm feeling but let's head on over to sleeper we are ready to go here actually oh, whoops i cleaned uh team 12 there but i can fix it that's the beauty of the app here uh app website whatever we want to call it all right team gorific is here at 11 so we'll kick off one quarterback two running backs three wide receivers i go with two flexes for what it's worth all right so i'm on the clock here all right well i gotta put my money where my mouth is obviously uh garrett wilson would be nice i mean it would be ballsy uh, to take jonathan tail or garrett wilson hoping that john falls me uh i'm just not gonna do it just 
you see, there's Garrett Wilson. He, he would have been gone there. Uh, so, okay, this isn't the easiest spot right here uh, because I could argue the best player on the board is Saquon Barkley. I could also argue that Chris Olave makes the most sense. This is tough. I, I don't love this, uh, quite frankly. Let me take a look here at the other options. Yeah, Marvin Harrison, it's a little early. I could go Devontae Adams. It's a little boring. Oh, wait, Drake London. Okay. Oh, we're good. We're good. I'm going to go Drake London here. Uh, I don't love, love, love it, but I think Drake London is about ready to eat with Kirky Cousins, especially if Kyle Pitts comes up small again. Saw a reel from or a little video of Kirk Cousins uh, late this week recording this on Friday where he was kind of talking uh, about riding Pitts, about not running hard enough on some balls. I'm like, come on, bro. Come on now. We need, we need you, man. Let's uh, give it your all for us, Kyle. All right, I'm on the clock. Um, I do have my anchor running back in JT. Uh, I think if you're watching these vids, you know where the hell I'm going with this one. I'm definitely going Debo all day long. Uh, and that's what we do when we open up a draft at running back. We hit wide receiver hard. Uh, so Drake London and Debo Samuel. Oh, wow. Malik Neighbors. That's tempting. I'm going to go boring and safe and steady with my guy, Devontae Smith, who I take left and right. Really don't regret it. So now I've got the strength at wide receiver that I want and we all need. We all need that security these days. And, oh, the, by the way, I've got JT, my guy. Love Jonathan Taylor. Uh, here we go. Dalton Kincaid just goes off the board. You know, I'm kind of in BPA mode. Uh, running back would be an interesting pick. Uh, this was the round, by the way, when I did, in fact, make that quarterback pick. So I guess I should make it here, right? Because I did say I was going to do that. So this would be a team construct where I would feel okay about paying a little bit more for a quarterback. I could go Kyle Pitts here. Boy, a lot of options in round number five. But I will go with Anthony Richardson. Uh, and now I'm up again. So boom, boom, boom. So now I'm inclined to hold off on the tight end position. Do I, do I look at any running back here? You know, I kind of like Ramondre. I certainly like Ramondre. Let's see what I did, by the way. Yeah, see what I did there. I actually went a little bit of a different direction. So I do have three wide receivers that I like. I think that's enough to, to warrant uh, a non-wide receiver pick here. So the question is, do I go running back or, or wide receiver? I could get Christian Kirk here. I do like Christian Kirk. But you know what? I'm going to go a little boring. Dave Montgomery. I think is a very good RB2 if you get him after not taking a running back for four rounds, as I did. So I think that's pretty darn good, James Conner. Look, I may regret it. James Conner just went off the board. I, I could have taken Ramondre there. One thing about Ramondre, not on a good team, so I don't want to go crazy. Ooh, and I got sniped with my guy, Jake Ferguson, going right in front of me. Oh, that's a buzz. Oh, wait. Whoa. Well, that opens up Evan Ingram, so we'll do that. We will, in fact, do that, and now we're good. Now we have the balance that we like. Our, basically, our starting lineup is full. So now we're just kind of going in BPA mode. Um, and who would I be looking at? Okay. Well, th this might be another good spot for a running back, honestly, because this looks like a dead zone at wide receiver. Here are the available wide receivers. Lad McConkey, D Hop, Deontay. I like Deontay. Keon Coleman, no. Brian Thomas, no. Jackson Smith and Jig. Eh, I'm a little bit. I kind of like him a little bit this year. I guess I'm going to have to make a selection. I mean, do I go with the running back here? I think I do. Wait, where is that running back? Jonathan Brooks. I'm going to go Javante. I'm going to go Javante. Let's go Javante. It's a little different than I did in the article, but we are striving for balance. And I have noticed, by the way, 
If you do ignore running back, it falls off a cliff shortly. So I do think it might behoove you to get a third back by this pick here where I'm at in the eighth round. So now I think I have a pretty good, decent group here. Jonathan Taylor, David Montgomery, Javante. Definitely due for a wide out here. Did I get a shot at my guy, Christian Watson? Oh, man, there's Tajay Spears. Oh, could have had Tajay. <sighs> Boy, you know, it's not an optimal pick. I could, I'm just going to have to take James Williams. That, that pain right there. Maybe I get him. Uh, oh, there you go. I got him. Still got him. Boom. Tajay. So now we've got four good running backs. So we're good. Maybe a little lighter wide receiver, but we can fix that by drafting a breakout type or a, a tremendous value. Maybe we already did it with Jamison Williams, but we do have other other options that we'll be certainly looking at. And Josh Palmer is definitely one of them, and he is available for me to select right now, and I will. Although, man, his ADP is one forty. It's a little early, I guess. Let's take a look. Oh, no, not that early. Boom. Josh Palmer in the fold on the clock again. I mean, we can certainly hit wide receiver again. Uh, it makes sense, uh, of course, because we're taking Tyler Conklin in the last round, as I do with every draft. Yeah. We'll just we'll see if there's anybody else. Xavier Leggett currently hurt. Mike Williams just off PUP. Jerry Judy's a bum. Uh, Rashid Shahid, I don't know. He's a little bit of a one-trick pony. Josh Downs already hurt. I do like Gabe Davis, but no reason to take him here. Actually, eh, nah, I'm just going to go with Cookie. Brandon Cooks. So between Jameson Williams, Josh Palmer, Brandon, Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks is my sixth receiver. That's not bad. Not bad. Very balanced team. Feel pretty good about it. Hell, I can get another receiver here, actually. Because I, the running backs are dead. They're, they're all gone. Tyler Algier, Gibson, Jaleel McLaughlin, Vidal, Tyrone Trace. Who the hell knows? I mean, I do like Ray Davis late. Nah, we're good at running back already with the four. We know that we're using our 14th round pick on Tyler Conklin. So it's wide receiver o'clock. And we could go a little Ricky Pearsall. Let's just do that because Debo, kind of a handcuff of sorts. And they do trade Ayuk. That would be pretty good news for Ricky Pearsall, who I love. I love Ricky Pearsall. Uh, tight end, bop it bop, Tyler Conklin. Once again, pretty darn terrific, a little bit more balanced. And I think. I was able to form what I think is a very good team with great balance because of when I was drafting. It simply, that's the case. The player pool, for whatever reason, does seem to overall, over the course of 10 rounds, favor those drafting at the end of round one. Is it simply a function of that second pick is just so much better than the second round pick of the other team that was drafting on the other end of round one. I doubt it because that team also gets a great elite option in round three. Whereas this team right here waited until the second to last pick of round number three. But let's take a look at the starting lineup. And I, I think we have some firepower here for sure. Anthony Richardson, Jonathan Taylor, David Montgomery. I mean, I understand I do have a, a rich uh, and JT. So if Indy's inside the 10, like I'm scoring or inside the five, like I'm scoring number one, maybe they cannibalize each other a little bit, but between Jonathan Taylor and David Montgomery, we're getting 30 rushing touchdowns this year. Uh, that would be my projection. If you will, you know, if things go well, Throw in Richardson. Now we're now we're getting like, you know, maybe forty. But uh, that would be absurd. Richardson, if he gets ten, then that means maybe Taylor and Montgomery might only get like twenty-two. But let's uh, go back to the lineup here: Anthony Richardson, Jonathan Taylor, David Montgomery, Drake London, Debo Samuel, 
Devontae Smith, Evan Ingram, who led all tight ends and targets, of course. I think he was fourth out of all receivers uh, last year. And then um, in the flex, the two flex spots, it would be Javante and Jamison. A couple of Jay Williams is there with perhaps Tajay Spears uh, getting some consideration along with Josh Palmer, Brandon Cooks, Ricky Pearsall, and Tyler Conklin. Let's quickly take a look at the other squads, see if anything pops. I mean, this is an interesting one. At one, you've got maybe an anchor wideout and Ayuk, McCaffrey, HN, Ayuk, Cook. So you go to running back. Andrews, Swift. It's a pretty interesting team. I, I wouldn't roll with it. I don't like Keon Coleman, but that's not bad. Uh, I didn't like those late picks, Shahid and Josh Downs. Like, I'd rather quit playing fantasy football, honestly, than draft Taysom Hill at a tight end. Uh, team two, we've got. Some balance here with Jacobs Lamb, Evans Cup. That's an old team. Walker, Burrow, I do like. Godwin, yeah, it's not great. Blake Corum, Dobbins, Dowdle, those, 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 that could all be, those could be worthless picks, honestly. Uh, team three, Jefferson, ETN, Kelsey, Mixon, Pickens, Rice. So, you know, pretty balanced. And that's what happens when Brock Purdy is your starting quarterback. You don't take a QB until round nine. Not not bad. Team four gets Brees Hall, goes and hits wide receiver pretty hard with four of the next six, four of the six, uh, with a little Kamara squeezed in there. I just don't like a lot of the players much, like Kamara and Eckler and Fryermuth is boring. I don't like Herbert either. <clears throat> Jalen Wright, who the hell knows in Miami is the third running back. That's a little sus right there. Team five, uh, Tyree Kill, Kyron Williams, Derrick Henry, Stroud, Kittle, McLaurin. Hey, could could compete for sure. Najee Harris, don't love, love, love this team. Like the Watson pick. A lot of boring ones, though. Cole Komet, Gus Edwards, Quentin Johnston. He's not very good. Team six has Chase and Adams, Mahomes, Metcalf. Okay. And Kincaid and Jaden Reed. I've seen worse running back cores from teams that didn't address running back until round seven. Tony Pollard, Nick Chubb, Zeke, Chase Brown. All right. It's not awful. I don't like Goddard much anymore. And Chandler and Thielen, I throw away those picks. Uh, team seven, uh, Bijan Robinson, uh, Marvin Harrison. Pretty young and sexy team. But then you get Buzzkill, Stephon Dix. Do you like McBride, Flowers, Kirk, Ridley? It's okay. Certainly solid there is wide receiver three, four, five. Uh, my guy, Jordan Love. Okay. You also get Jaden Daniels. Hmm. Don't believe in Jordan Love, I guess. Uh, Khalil Shakir. It's not bad. Not bad. Team eight. Amon Ra, Allen, Pacheco. Decent balance thanks to Ramondre. You have the quarterback. You've got three wideouts here already. Bowers, I don't love, but you do at least have Hawkinson for, I guess, the second half. Goff, Sharp. Yeah, a little all over the map there with those final picks. Team nine, Gibbs, Laporta, Hurts, White. Some balance now with uh, those receivers, but still a little light, real light of receiver. You got Tank Dell's your wide receiver one. Come on now. Your, your two is a Dunze? Who's his team's three? Good luck. Computer drafted team nine. Uh, team 10, A.J. Brown, Barkley, Waddle, Lamar. I mean, these are good players. Keenan Allen, Connor. The team will be competitive if those old guys hold up. Ferguson, McConk. It's not bad. I wouldn't draft this team, but it certainly could compete. And then again, my team, J.T., Drake London, Debo, Devante. Good trio. Richardson, Montgomery, I think is a I know it's boring, but you know, sixth rounder from RB2, it's all right. It's gonna get double digit touchdowns. Evan Ingram, certainly a tight end one, a good one. Javante looking good in camp. Jameson, a breakout candidate. Spears the same deal. Palmer, Cooks, Pierce all nice values. Conklin as well. Team 12 goes wide receiver heavy with Puka, Garrett Wilson, Michael Pittman, and DJ Moore. Wow. Ignoring running back with Kyle Pitts. Aaron Jones is a bell cow, so you got that. Uh, 
But man, Trey Benson is a backup, so that's a little suspect there. Ooh, really bad at running back. Really, really bad. But certainly a good receiver group with those dudes right there. Nakua, Wilson, Pittman, and more. But again, I mean, come on now, guys. Uh, oh, and Hollywood Brown, yeah. But Trey Benson and Kendra Miller and Tyler Algier and Antonio Gibson, that's brutal. Uh, running back group after your RB1, Aaron Jones. So I would have to submit once again that the Team Griffith build was the build. Uh, the best players were picked, I think, at the time. And then again, at the end of round one, you really would like to diversify your portfolio and get a running back and then a wide receiver. And look, if you're in this spot where I was and you think there's a chance Jonathan Taylor falls you and you want Garrett Wilson, you can go for it. I would say your backup plan is Saquon Barkley. Fingers crossed you can stay healthy. I have a lot more confidence in Taylor than I do Barkley. That's why I'm going to take Barkley. So I'll take JT in London versus Garrett Wilson and Barkley. Although that that's close. My side's actually the boring side there. I feel like Wilson and Barkley is a little sexier than Jonathan Taylor, Drake London. Then again, we don't know how sexy Drake London can be. Uh, with a real quarterback and offensive play caller and coordinator, which he has now, at least in terms of the quarterback. Uh, we'll see how the new coaching staff does there in Atlanta, but I, I do think we're fine. I, I think we're in Kirk Cousins' comfort zone with the offense, same offense basically he's run his entire career. Anyways, we'll end the video here. Thanks for sticking and staying. Good luck in all your drafts. Again, fantasypoints.com. Get on the website. I'm really excited about the props this year, getting the analysis right. My Hanson's Hints article, I worked 25, 30 hours on this thing. Uh, previews every player of note uh, over the weekend for the upcoming games, including all the propage. Really crushed it down the stretch with the props. I think 63% the final like 10 weeks. Uh, so, very excited about the upcoming campaign at fantasypoints.com. Promo code SCORE MORE if you'd like to save 10% at checkout. I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.